What's up, guys? My name is Quinn, also known as Soul Stallion, and I got my co-host right here. What's up, y'all? I'm Miranda. And thank you guys for tuning back in with us for another episode of Zodiac Mondays, and this is episode six. We in there. We in there. We so in thank that. you guys for watching and continue to watch, subscribe, go to LUL Magazine 13 on Instagram, click the link, and check us out. All right. What's up guys? So we're back again and we're going to hop right into it today. And uh, I guess today we're going to start off again with our, I guess a recap of our week. And I'll start with myself. Okay. My week was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, um, one thing I can say is I learned a lot about myself and that's always the goal. Right. And one of the things that I did pay attention about myself and I was excited to come talk to you guys about it today mm -hmm. is um, I learned, I, I recognized one of my toxic traits mm -hmm. and I conquered it. Mm -hmm. I recognized it, I conquered it, and I felt so good about it. Okay. And one of my toxic traits that I have, because I have toxic traits and a lot of people when they look at their toxic traits they look at it as far as what's visible like a lot of people look at the more extreme toxic traits as far as anger and mm -hmm. fighting and all this other kinds of manipulation all of that but I have a toxic trait of people pleasing and so Me too. so I <laughs> call myself people pleasing uh -huh. and um I did I did initiate the process of people pleasing okay. of that situation. I initiated it, but I caught myself in the middle of it. And when normally when I catch myself, I sometimes I don't even say anything. I just let the situation play out okay. because I emotionally I play with it, the, the scenario in my head to mm -hmm. the point where it just never gets solved. Right. But I seen that I was people pleasing and I stopped myself in the middle of it and I addressed the issue. Good. And I was like, oh, good. okay, it felt good. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling. Mm -hmm. And I addressed it right then, mm -hmm. and I got over it. So I was like, okay, I'm very proud of myself for doing it. So now I can, like, pay more attention to it, and I can catch myself a little bit more. Okay. So I'm excited. Congratulations, friend. Thank you. I'm a people Thank pleaser you. as well. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it can really drain you it to, can. to do that. So, it okay. can. It can. It can drain you a whole lot. How was your week, friend? Um, My week was actually very interesting. Um, I actually, emotionally, mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling this this week. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I went through a lot this week. Um, I, I kind of let a lot get to me. Um, but I will say towards the end of the week, I have some good friends in my corner. So they actually made me feel really, really good. But That's I know good. that I'm going through a transition right now in my life. Right, right? right. So I feel like stuff is just like, because when stuff would happen, I was like, okay, universe, I feel like you testing me right now. Right, right, right. right. So exactly. I, this week was just a test. Mm -hmm. It was a test, but I feel like I also came out triumphant. So I'm proud of myself with that too. And next week is going to be even a better week for me. Right. Right? Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, that's how we speaking into existence. Right, exactly. And it's funny that you said that because um, I think a lot of, yeah, I feel like everybody's going through a transition. Right. Um, and I know we spoke spoke on it before as far as the uh, we're going into two different ages. Right. So it's like we're going into the age of Aquarius. Right. And it's like it's a split between the 3D and the 5D. Right. We, we talk about it all the time. So it's right. like there's a split and I think everybody is going through that transition. And in, in the inside of everybody, mm -hmm. I feel like we're all having a tug of war with that split right, exactly. as the way that we think and the way we process things because the world is changing right, right now so I feel like emotionally in the inside we're having that tug of war right. and in the physical world on the outside right. we can visually see the tug of war right. that's going on exactly. so I think it's, it's, it's a heavy time for everybody it is and they've really been talking about December 21st heavily. Yeah. So that yeah. we're supposed to actually like really, really feel what you just explained mm -hmm. on December 21st. Yes. So that day within itself, what's that? Next month? Next Monday? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. Days. I think I'm gonna be meditating. Right. I'm gonna be Meditate. somewhere. Look, I already said if I have some friends, you know what I'm yeah. saying, that want to come over and Meditate. let's just kumbaya. We be in this in a circle and just meditate and bring the energy. One. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. it's gonna be. I know black Twitter been going in. Yeah. They say sure. all the black people finna mutate. Yeah. We, they say the black people finna turn into X Men. We finna get all our power back. If you could be an X Man or real talk, which which X Man would you be? Oh man. Growing up, so I'm a real big X Men fanatic. Uh-huh. So growing up, um, my gay my gay self wanted to be Storm. Storm, <laughs> Storm. Yeah, Storm. Storm is bad. Storm, but she got all the powers. Storm, Storm is, is bad. bad. They never let Storm be as bad as she yeah. could be. Yeah. And it's like I know a lot of people have been dying for a Storm movie. Yeah, for sure. If they make a Storm movie, they know it's gonna shut the world down. It will. It will. The world gonna start stop spinning. It will. Y'all think Black Panther did something? Make a Storm movie. Right. And she from Africa. Yeah. And, so she, bad, was, bro. and she was married to all uh, the Black Panther. Yeah, something. for sure. For sure. I like right. um, Mystique. I love Mystique. Yeah, she I love bad. Mystique. Yes. Mystique moving yes. ass, baby. Yes. You can't tell me nothing with that, that, that damn blue uh that blue outfit with them, the little scale back. Yes, Mystique. I like she, Mystique. She bad. I like she Mystique. Bad. So, but anyway, yeah. not to get off topic. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we're going to go right into the weekly forecast. And um, we do want to say that this today, which is Monday for y'all, not for us, but it's Monday. Right, right. That's what we're going to say. It's Monday. But we got a new moon uh, solar eclipse. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the last one of the year. And it's going to be a great opportunity for all of us to start Something new. Yes. It's going to be a great opportunity for us yes. to recharge. A great opportunity for us to let go of whatever is not serving us yes. that's been plaguing us for yes. the past year. Right. Like it's time to let it go. And I think towards the end, the year's end, which where we're at right now, mm-hmm. we I think all of us should have a clear picture of what has been troubling us right. throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Um, the things that we need to change about ourselves. The things that not serving us, the people that we need to move out of our lives. Right. So I think that we are getting that we, we should know by now. And like I said, with the new moon, I feel like it's a great opportunity for us to let go of all of that and to set those boundaries. Yes, you know, um, this new moon is in Sagittarius, okay. which is a fire sign, mm-hmm. um, a mutable fire sign. Mm-hmm. And the new moon is um, aligned with Mercury, it's conjunct with Mercury, so Mercury is the planet of communication. Mm-hmm. So, from my understanding and what I'm getting from this and how I feel intuitively about it, is that this is a great opportunity to communicate those changes yes. that we need to make. Yes. So, it's like it's time to take action and communicate the changes that we need to make. Yes. I think this is the perfect opportunity. It's the end of the year. Mm-hmm. You know what changes you need to make. You know what's been plaguing you. Yes. And you know what you need to do. So this is a great opportunity to communicate that. Take action and communicate that. That's what that Sagittarius energy is telling For us. Sure. That fire energy For is sure. taking action to those changes. For so sure. um I'm really excited about I'm excited, I'm excited about the new moon. I'm excited too. Um and I guess I'll jump right on into the uh, water signs. Okay. And so, uh, for the weekly forecast for you guys with the water signs, so, so for water signs, we are, like I always say, we are very emotionally driven. Mm-hmm. Emotionally driven. So, as far as the new moon and communicating those changes that we need to make, we need to make sure that um, we don't attach ourselves to pain. I know for myself and I know for a lot of water signs because we're so emotional, emotionally driven, we attach ourselves to pain. Yeah. And sometimes we can wear our pain as like a trophy. Yeah. And I know not even just water signs, I know a lot of people like wear their pain as a trophy. Yeah. As if I'm proud that right. I went through this. I got to let everybody know that I started here and I ended up here. I got to, you know, so... Right. Um, it's easy to wear our pain as um, wear our pain in, as emotions and things like that. So, um, with the new moon, it's a great time to let go of all the emotional pain and to communicate with others and the people and places and things that aren't serving us. You know, hey, this isn't serving me. It's time for me to let it go. And also, with water signs, be mindful that. We are more emotional than most. So when you're communicating 
the things that you want to change about yourself, be mindful that everybody isn't as emotional as we are. And I know that I can, if I'm having a conversation with somebody and I'm letting them know how I feel and what I need to change, I know that I can be very emotion driven. Mm -hmm. And I know we've all had that conversation with an emotionally driven person yes. and you like, what, really? Yes. It's not that deep. Yes. It's not that deep. Yes. Like, you be looking like, they got a chip they on their shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this one crazy. Right, exactly. Like, why yes, because so... I've dated some water signs and I, I know. Yeah, that. yeah. So, um, <laughs> communicate those changes that you need, yeah. water signs, and make sure that when you're communicating it, just make sure you're not doing it off emotion. For and, sure. you know, add some logic into that. So, that's okay. my forecast for the water signs. Okay. And for the air signs, so um, that for next week, so we're talking about December 14th through the 20th, okay? Mm -hmm. So for next week, um, we have a strong sense of purpose, okay? So if you're working in your, walking in your purpose right now, you're, you're feeling yourself, okay? So um, you just want to get rid of, you know, anything that's not helping you get to that level, right? right so right, right. right now is an easy time for you to weed out a lot of things that, just, that are just not meant for you. Right. Yeah. So um, as far as our mental, we're on point right now um, in our charisma. Right. So we're yeah. So air signs are really, really doing a thing. We had a, a very interesting year and I could definitely speak for myself as being an air sign. Mm -hmm. We had a very, very interesting year. So towards the end of this year, we just pretty much know what we want to do. Right. You know, so that's a good thing. So air signs, make sure you're just walking in your purpose right now. Perfect. So um, I'll go right into the earth signs. Mm -hmm. And for the earth signs, you guys, um, you guys love routine. So the good thing that about that is routine is good because it adds structure. And I think that's what a lot of us need right now is structure. Um, it's not always bad. And the thing for the earth signs is when you're um, when you're stuck in a routine that's not serving you anymore, um, it's, it's imperative that you make those changes. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't exactly mean, okay, stop that whole routine and cut that whole routine out. This routine is not working for me anymore. Mm -hmm. It might just be as simple as changing something about the routine mm -hmm. that it will serve you a little bit better than what is serving you now. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us, we can get stuck in our ways. And so be mindful of that, Earth signs. Also, Earth signs, when you're communicating the changes that you need to make, uh, be mindful that everybody doesn't think as logically as you guys do. And I know a lot of Earth signs, you, you expect others to think with that logic. Mm -hmm. But you might be communicating something to a water sign, and we're pure emotion. Mm -hmm. So you're, 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 trying, you're trying to give your logic to somebody that's running off emotion. Exactly. And so that can just that be a whole hard. clash right. in its all, right. I mean, in itself. So be mindful of that. Communicate those changes that you need to make earth signs. Um, you don't have to completely cut out a routine, but you can make changes to your routine to where it serves you in a better way. And just be mindful of when you're communicating, just be mindful that everybody doesn't think as logically as you do. Um, sure. Everybody doesn't operate like that. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, for our fire signs, um, so next week you're you're gonna find yourself more emotionally attached to people. Okay. So, you know, if if it could be a good thing and it can be a bad thing, don't find don't get emotionally attached to the wrong people. Okay. So for the fire signs, it's also time for new beginnings. All right. So with that being said, you want to make sure that you have the right people in your corner during these new beginnings. Right. So, and it's also, you're, you're mentally alert, you're convincing right now. So, it just sounds like, to me, it sounds like this new moon is just going to bring in a lot of new, new stuff for all of the signs, right? right new right. feelings, new purposes, right. new beginnings, just, just everything. So, right. we, we just really got to make sure that we got the right people in our corner and that we stay focused right now with all these changes going on. Exactly. And there's a lot of changes going on. Yeah. And that's what we said in the beginning of the show is like... We can't literally feel that transition and that tug of war, you know, in the outside world and within ourselves for the things that we need to change right. because the world is changing. Yeah. The way we think, the way the world turns is changing. Yeah. And so it's like we all are feeling that transition. Yeah. And um, just doing my research and studying and me thinking, it's 
it's imperative that we know ourselves. Yeah, exactly. And so it's like right now it's a great time to set those boundaries and things like that and to execute and make those changes. But in order to make changes that we need, we have to know ourselves. Right. And so I think it's a good thing that, you know, a lot of us, we spend time with ourselves, mm -hmm. learn yourself. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that popped in my mind during this week as well that I learned about myself because I am an introvert mm -hmm. and um, I'm not shy, mm -hmm. but I, um, I'm i sort of a recluse. Mm -hmm. I just like being alone. Yeah, for sure. So for sure. Um, one, of those, one of the things that I do think about is like a lot of people don't like that time alone. Yeah. But that time alone, you it's will crucial. learn. It's crucial. it's crucial. You will learn yourself. You yeah. will learn so much about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And so... That all that time is doing is just preparing yourself, right? And that way, it allows you to know what you need to set boundaries. Right. right. You don't know yourself. You can't set no boundaries. You can't. You can't. Do you feel like you have a lot of people in your life that are kind of going to be stuck in this three D realm? Um. Yeah, I do feel like I do have people in my life that will be, um, you know, mentally stuck in the three D realm and. And we, what we, when we speak about 3D and 5D, it's just basically um, the way that you think. Mm -hmm. The way that you think. Um, we live in a male-dominated society. We live in a Western society where we think with the masculine. Right. Um, what we're moving into is thinking with the feminine. Right. And I think um, during those ages where the feminine rule. Mm -hmm was our most successful ages, like the golden age right. and all of that. So, right. um, like I said, we are literally living through that transition. So right. I do feel like there will be uh, some people that will be left behind. And yeah. the thing is, everybody that looks weird right now yes. is going to be looking good mm -hmm. because we are, like, ahead of the game. Yeah, and sure. so it's like everybody that's looking like, that's weird. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. Or why are you studying this? Or mm -hmm. something like that. Or even it's your conspiracy theory. Your conspiracy yeah, theory. Yeah, people going to be looking at them like, yeah. what, you, what, what information can you give me? Yeah, because I need you. It, it, yeah. Right, 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 right. Because we are giving the information. And this we are walking into the age of information. If you're not right. willing to accept the information and you want to be stuck in the same mindset because it's comfortable. Right. Um, it's gonna be a huge you're gonna, problem you're gonna for you. Left behind. You're gonna get left behind. You're gonna get left behind. You're gonna get left behind. Yes. Yes. Which is why we are so appreciative for the people that are tuning in and watching us because we we don't want people, especially the type of person that I am. Um, I am a humanitarian, so I, I want to help people out, right? So I want to give out good information and I want to see people elevate and get to the next level. So, of course, I don't want to see people still left behind and, you know, out here hurting. Because it's, it's going to be some people hurting. It's you hear me? And physically, hurting. mentally, spiritually, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, I just, I really want people to elevate with me. But, can't save the world. Can't save everybody. Right. Who is meant to elevate and go to the next level is going to be the people that, that we see, right? Right, so, right, right. It's and life, right? Yeah, the thing is, you, um... Like the old folks say, you can take a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. Exactly. And that's, I live by that, even yeah. with my friends or people yeah. that I know, even when I'm helping people yeah. and things like that. Because it'll drain you, right? It'll drain yeah. you. So it's like, I can only help you to a certain point, but right. it's like, you're going to have to help yourself right, as well. Sure. So it's like, if the information is out there or you see any information and things like that, you're going to be charged to make a change. Right, exactly. It's like, when you know better, you do better. Right, exactly. So. Exactly. Yeah, we got a little deep with y'all right then. Right, real quick. Real I'm glad that y'all, you know, <laughs> you know, right, hang on in there with us. Right. Because, you know, we can get deep. Yeah, we can get real, real deep. Real. But I'm glad that you guys are listening and staying tuned because yeah. um, we're doing something that nobody else is doing. And we're talking about things that um, people might be scared to touch on and things like that. Yeah. And we're literally just being ourselves. So yeah. we're glad that. We do this outside of this. This right. is our normal conversation. <laughs> right. Up, so. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's amazing. So um, I guess we're going to go straight into entertainment mm -hmm. on a lighter note and have a little bit of fun right. here. Right. Um, so first off on entertainment, we were talking about Tiana Taylor. Yeah. yeah. And she is a Sagittarius. She is. She so is. Um, this, this is her season. This is her season. Yeah. And yeah. she is letting it be known. This yeah. is her season. Yeah, this for is sure. Tiana's for sure. season. Uh -huh. 
um, um, her stepping away from the music industry. Right. Yeah. So we had a lot of, you know, I saw a lot of celebrities actually reaching out to her because she's so talented. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you remember, but I actually remember her sweet 16. Mm -hmm. I remember Tiana Taylor with the big hair and she was already, you know, fashionable. Yeah. yeah. Back then, right? So, but now she's stepping away from the music industry because she says that she she's actually saving herself for her children. Like, because I see it, a lot of people see it, that the music industry will wear you out. It'll it tear you apart. Yeah. And that, that's, I feel like, I kudos to Tiana Taylor. Like, yep. that's, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, I, I'm, I, so she's, she's doing her thing with that. So, um, I guess for the people that don't know, so she's leaving the, she's saying that she's retiring from the music industry mm -hmm. because... She, she was feeling, basically, she was feeling unappreciated right. due to the Grammys and right. not being nominated for a Grammy. Right. Got you. And I definitely feel her on that. Yeah. Uh, I definitely will, besides the Grammys, mm -hmm. just, like you said, I've been watching Tiana Taylor since her Sweet 16 as right. well. Right. And Tiana Taylor has always been a creator yes. and always been talented to yes. me. Yes. Um, I think, and that's, that is triggering to the industry. Yeah. Because she has a creative mind and she thinks on her own, mm -hmm. that's triggering to the industry because she can create something that transcends what they got going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. That's scary for them. It is. That's very scary yeah. for them. And I can see how she's basically, her creative mind and her ability has been in a box. Exactly. Most, and, what most artists go through. Right. But that's why it's such a, I feel like it's so mature of her. Right. To actually be able to say, you know what, I'm stepping away from this. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because she can do all that on her own. She can do all of it on like, her own. Like, she's going to get the same support. Obviously, if you got all these celebrities, like, basically saying, ba you know, a lot of them were saying, don't leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we believe in you and stuff like that. But, so, if she's getting that much feedback, positive feedback. Right. You know, now, right. she's going to be straight. Right. And then it's like, the thing is, it's like, my creative ability is mine. Right. So, it's like, people are banking off her creative ability right people are banking off the fact that she can write music mm -hmm. off the fact that she can sing songs right these music execs are banking right off of that exactly. and basically using her right but you know what it also goes back to this shift too because mm -hmm. i guarantee you we're going to see more artists stepping away from because you already see you know, them saying certain things and how they not feeling it and yeah. stuff like that especially with our generation right like, not the transition the shit. Is that shift that shift is it's coming, and we're going to see that, like, we're just going to see that separation, bro. right? Even, and, even in the industry. Yep, it's happening. Yeah. And it's, the funny thing, it's funny that you said that because I am a big Prince fan. Okay. And Prince was one, and it's like, we look at those artists back in the 90s, 70s, and mm -hmm. stuff like that, that were very, um... Way of before the time. Right, for sure. Prince was Michael way Jackson. before his time. Yeah. Michael Jackson was way mm -hmm. before his time. Mm -hmm. And you look at Prince. Prince was like one of the first independent artists. Yeah. Prince was in the early 90s yeah. saying, hey, they raping masters. me. Get your yeah. masters. They yeah. raping me. Yeah, Prince, sure. and, and it's like when I was growing up, I remember when Prince changed his name to the artist formerly known as Prince. Mm -hmm. But I didn't never knew why. Mm -hmm. I always knew people always made fun of it and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I never knew why. As an adult, I know why now. Right. Because they own the name Prince. Mm, right. And so he was like, you got, you're not going to own me. And right. then it's like, even from that point, watching him write the word slave, performing yes, with the word slave on his face yep. and things like that. Yeah. He... He was above his time. Yeah, for sure. He, he had got to a point where there's no amount of money that's going to um, make me give up my my talent. Yeah, exactly. You know, you can't pay me for my creative exactly. ability for me to just hand it all over to you. Mm -hmm. And it's like he transcended so much. Mm -hmm. Even he he even went as far as knowing when like Napster and LimeWire and all that yeah. first happened. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Everybody looked at Prince as crazy because he sued. He was suing people for downloading his music when mm -hmm. people first started. They were like, mm, "Why he, you know, why he got a chip on his shoulder?" But yeah. now they know what's up. They know what's up yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Prince knew that record labels were going yeah. to be extinct. He knew it. He knew that once these, he knew that once the digital age had hit, yeah, he knew that people were going to be yeah. downloading music and things like yeah. that. And he, yeah. even before Chris Brown started putting out all these albums and things like mm -hmm. that. Prince had was put out music faster than the record labels could even yeah. do anything with yeah. it. 
And he's he was I know he was helping a lot of other artists too, like yeah. trying to tell them like exactly. setting those guidelines, like this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do. And now that he's gone, you know, you actually are starting to hear people say, you know what? Like I remember what Prince was saying. Now, it's like it's starting to hit now. Yeah, it's starting to hit now. So he he did what he was supposed to do. He came and did what he was supposed to do. So that's right, dope. exactly, that's exactly. Dope. Next, I want to talk about Gina, Tisha Campbell. Oh, that was my, my boo and Martin. Listen, I am the biggest Martin fan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have all the seasons of Martin on DVD, mm -hmm, and I can watch them religiously. Really, really, right. Like, I can watch them. Recite everything. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, I have a huge emotional attachment to oh, Gina, okay, okay. and I feel some type of way. Uh-huh. What happened, friend? Because Gina is telling us that um, Dwayne Martin, mm -hmm. her ex-husband, uh -huh. who she divorced, uh -huh. left her broke and penniless. Okay, so this is this is what, okay. Left how, did, how did she $7 get this? to her name. So she didn't have no money? Or did they sign some contracts? Like what? It must be I, some type of contract they signed or something. That's because crazy. He left her broke and penniless. With their two kids. That's what and that's and what that's blows my mind. Yeah, like, okay, this is the mother of your kids. Right. She's taking care of your children. Right. Your kids are living with her. Right. And you left her. And he was just an actor too, right? He's yeah, he was an too. actor. Yeah, he was an right. actor. Um But you know what? He ain't been in no stuff like Gina. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like that's her, like, how did that happen? Her career has been going on since she was little. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. still is going. Yeah. So, you know, that she, Low key, Gina is low key on legendary status. Yeah, she is though. Like for real, for real, for real, for real. So it's like, like you said, like how did that happen? But most likely, she got with him, and like most women, feeling like they have to because that's how they were raised. They have to give their everything to a man, and the man, that's how he was raised, supposed yeah. to take everything that the woman give him, even yeah, the things crazy. that she don't give him. And you know what I'm saying? Karma. It's karma. It's Isn't karma. It? It's like ego. And that's what I guess that's what frustrates me the most. Is yeah. like and I'm so glad. That's why I'm happy about this transition. Yeah. I'm right. happy about this transition right. because we're transitioning out of the ego. Yes. And I hate that. Because yes. it's like so many people are operating out of ego. Yeah, for sure. And so, you know, that that upset me. Gina been yeah. through enough. Yeah. She been through enough. Yeah. And so it's like, how did nigga left her broken and penty with? Yeah, that's like, wild. Like, it's $7 to her name. Yeah, that's wild. So what, what she was on? When she was talking about that? Um, she was she did an interview uh, with okay. E.T. or somebody. Okay. And she was, she was basically, and I know that she had been going through a divorce yeah. and all of that, yeah. but I didn't know that he, let, you know. Left her high and dry. High like and dry. And she had to start completely over. But, you know, sometimes... And that shows a testament to her strength because sometimes mm -hmm. I always say you have to sometimes you have to lose everything yes. to gain everything. Exactly. When one door closes, another one opens. Yes, yes, so, yes. So it really it might be a positive. It might actually be a yes, great thing. Yes, you know that's what she was saying in her interview as well. She you know she was saying that she was happy and stuff yeah. like that. And um, of course she was being asked. You know about another relationship, which and she's just like, no, I'm happy. Yeah, she's happy. She probably needs a break. Away she from needs a break because right I know now. they've been married for like years and yeah. years and years since the nineties, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's she like time to herself. She to needs that, yeah, 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 sure. yeah. That'll take a whole lot out of you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. sure it will. But it's low down that he did her like it that. is. It's it real is. low down that he left her broke and pentyless. It is. That should be the name of this episode. Broke and pentyless. <laughs> they left her broke and pentyless. <laughs> 2020, the <laughs> left us broke and pissy I'm trying to change, babe. All I got is my mind and my spirit. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I got. But that's a good thing, y'all. That's all we got there, baby. And I got you, friend. I got you. Friend. Right. That's all we got is our mind and our spirit. For real, for real. Because one thing 2020 has taught us is nothing is guaranteed. Your pockets is empty. Your pockets is empty. Right. All this stuff can be taken away yeah. from you. But that's it also thing. shows how much that stuff really doesn't matter either. Because, it shows I mean, it doesn't matter. I know it's a lot of people that are hurting mm -hmm. because of, you know, what happened. And, of course, their bills are piling up, piling up, piling up. But it's just going to show a different side of things. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, what really matters. What, what like, you value. Family. Yes. You know, stuff like that. So, 
what you really yeah. value. That's yeah. that's so true. Yeah. That's so true. And I um oh, uh, and we can go on to the next uh, yeah, right. the next one because I think you got another one oh, on yeah. entertainment. But yeah. I one thing um that I always think about because I. I gotta get back into it, but I used to go to the woods and hike all the time. Mm. And I'm gonna mm. get back into it. Mm. That's one of the things that I like to do that helps me ground myself. Yes. Because I tell people all the time, when you're out in the woods or you're hiking or in anything nature. in nature or anything like that, mm -hmm. nothing that you care about, that you care about when you in your house yeah. matters. Yes, for sure. Your bills don't matter when you out in the woods. I agree. Your um how your weight doesn't matter when you're out in the woods. How you look doesn't matter when you're out in the woods. Now I always use this analogy. The same mosquito that bites me will bite Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So if me and Beyonce are out in nature, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who Beyonce is. Right. Me and Beyonce are the same people to right. nature. Exactly. So when it when you break it all the way down, we all the same people. Exactly. We just wrapped up differently. So yep, yeah. Yeah, that's Real a good part. That's a good part. <laughs> that's a good part. Uh, okay, friend. Oh, so I just want to talk about uh, Elon Musk real quick. Okay. So apparently he wants to. I, I'm, this is something that's been talked about for a while now, but um. So and I don't know who Elon Musk is. He's like I, a tech guy. Okay. Like to me, he's one of them people that is like, why are you the? I think he's the second richest man in the world. So something like got, a Bill Gates. Yeah, he's up, or exactly. Like that. Okay. He's up there with them, right? Okay. 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 So, but he basically is trying to get a million people to mars by 2050 right so he's in mm. and he's helping out with the the spaceships and all that and the plans on getting all these people out to mars by 2050 so my thing is with that is like okay so what do you know that, that a lot of these know. people don't know right so where you're trying to transition a million people to, to mars. mars and my thing is ain't no water on mars so what we gonna do on mars but we can't but, take the but, water from Earth and put and, it on and, Mars. And that's true too. But it might be water on Mars. It might be water on Mars. They said that it has a, um, like you can breathe up there. So I feel like if you can breathe, it has to have be some type of water on Mars. It does. Yeah. I feel you. And then it's like, you know, we real technical around this mug. Yeah. Engineers and crap. So right, right. I know that you can, um, you know, water ain't in, but H2O. Right, 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 right. One molecule of hydrogen, right. two molecules of oxygen. Look, look, and you got your water. It, okay. Right, it, so it, it's it, like, right, shoot. Right. If you, you want to, we can go yeah, to Mars. You're coming with me to the end of the world. We're going to. Because I need your brain. Okay. 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 Just so you know that. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Okay. Y'all going to be on Mars, we're going to be on Pluto. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Just us. Just us. Building and creating. Building and creating. All they're going to do is destroy. You take it. People like that, Elon Musk and all them billionaires, y'all taking people up there to do what? Right, to rape Mars. And they gonna destroy, right. They gonna rape Earth. Exactly. So then, now they yeah, gonna go to Mars. Yeah, we going the opposite Mars. direction, baby. Right, we going yeah, the opposite direction. Yeah, if you, whatever direction y'all want to go, we going the opposite going, direction. Y'all exactly. going to Mars, we going to Pluto. We going to all the way to the other end. Exactly. And if any other um <laughs> people that want to join us, uh -huh. come and join us. We going all the way to the end. We ain't You're got no We ain't got no Don't bring that crazy shit. No, don't bring that crazy shit. And that bad energy. <laughs> keep that bad energy over there. We hood over here. Right, exactly. So we going. We going to Pluto. I'm, in take, a, I'm, uh, taking, me, I'm taking me some green. It's a Pluto too, dog. We going to Pluto in the crown bitch. We, play, we, play. <laughs> you we going to Pluto in the crown bitch. You better believe it. By, by that time though, we will be flying cars. We will so, be flying cars. So if you catch me and my crown beat flying by you. And I'm on the way to Pluto. Just, just, just so you know. Wave your hand. We'll stop by and pick you up. We got you. That's what's we got up. You. That's what's up. So we got any uh, questions? Um, I think we do have a listener question. Where um, I think we're supposed to be having a viewer call. Yes, we are. So let's see what we got going oh, on. We got one. All okay. right, we got us a viewer that's calling in. So let's let's see what the viewer has to say. Viewer, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's, what's going on? What's going on? How you all doing? Right. How you doing? Good, good. I just want to say kudos to all of the great work that you guys are doing. Um, okay. I haven't really been in touch with a lot of the Zodiac uh, frenzies that have been going on online, but I have been in a lot of things changing and shifting. And so I just wanted to give a call to you guys today because I have a question. All right, yes, what's sir. Up, what's up? And we're glad that you're listening to us. Most definitely. So as a newbie, I'm going to call myself a movie, but I wanted to know, like, 
Um, and this is just from a basic standpoint. Like, if I wanted to just learn a little bit more about, you know, my my uh, zodiac sign and all of the, like the movies and you know what my connection to the moon and the stars are. Like, how could I get involved or where could I find some great information? I will be able to find it back through Zodiac Monday. Um, so kudos to you guys. But if I just wanted to do my own research, um, can you give me some suggestions as to where I should start? Okay. And what, sure. and, and what is your sign, sir? Well, I am actually a well, you know, that, that, that's that's the thing. I think I'm on a cusp. Okay. Um, but at the same time, I still wouldn't really know, you know, the with the whole change of the month, things like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely go with a cancer. Oh, a okay, cancer. So you're a cancer. Okay. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Well, um, that's a water sign. Yeah, that's a water sign. Okay. So we're dealing with a cancer right now. Okay. So thank you. Like I said once again, thank you for calling in. Um, and I know for um. I would suggest for all the um, people that are just now getting into astrology and learning about their zodiac sign and things like that, my suggestion would be to start out with um, just the basic um, learning about your zodiac sign, learning about your personal um, traits. And things like that can be accessible through the internet. Right, um, yeah. we, are, we are in the transition to the information age. Right. So things like... Um, uh, your personality traits and things like that can be easily accessed through the internet. Sure. Um, another good thing that I would suggest a lot of people to do as far as when they're diving into astrology and just learning about themselves mm -hmm. is to do a natal chart. Yes. Um, okay. Either you can find somebody that can do a natal chart for you or you can do a natal chart um, on the internet as well. There's mm -hmm. different um, avenues and websites that you can do your natal chart on. And I know for me personally, um, I like doing, I like the natal chart and I'm still, um, learning things about my natal chart right. as well because with your natal chart, your natal chart doesn't just, um, tells you your, um, sun sign mm -hmm. and that's what we all speak about every, um, Monday and that's what we speak about now is your sun sign. Right. But, um, your natal chart will let you know your sun sign, your moon sign, your, um, houses. It goes very, very deep. Right, right. Into who you are as a person. Right. And so um, I would suggest, which you need to know all of that, which is that all of that is a part of knowing thyself. Right. So um, to better know yourself and things like that, I personally would suggest to do a natal chart. For sure. To do a natal chart. I agree. I agree with that. And like he said, we are in the information age and technology. It's, it's no reason that anybody shouldn't know about their their signs. Mm -hmm. and, um, when it comes to the internet, it's as easy as typing in Aquarius traits. But like he said, get your natal chart done because it's a lot more specific, right? right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and especially if you know your, your birth time, too. I tell people to look at your, go see your birth certificate, get that birth that birth time because you can right. find even more information if you know your actual birth time. Exactly. Right? So, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Okay, great. Because uh, when, when I think about this, like, you know, a lot of those stuff. So, you know, a lot of times we don't pay attention to the time that we're born or, you know, around the time of what's happening when we're born or whatever. Or even our parents probably who hasn't really dived deep into the astrology aspect of things. This is where we just kind of let it flow over our heads. So just to be able to have this conversation to at least know where to start, I think it's all about just getting started. Right. And you guys are definitely helping out with that. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Keep up the good work and I'll be staying tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you calling in to us. And um, sure. thank you for continuing to watch and um, listen to the show. We appreciate it. I'm glad that we, we, we touched we somebody. We touched somebody. Yeah. yeah somebody yeah, listening. Yeah, That's somebody good. listening. So we're glad that you called in to us today, viewer. And you continue to have a great week. Thank you so much. And if you guys ever need to reach out to me, my name is Mark. Gotcha. Gotcha. All, All right, Mark. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right, man. Bye-bye. So that's dope. So if you guys ever want to call in, get in touch with us. We'll be giving you more information on a, a, a number to call us at, but we're willing to answer any questions that you have. And like you said, we're here, like like we said before, we're here to teach you guys, but we're also here to learn. Okay? Right. So every day, exactly. every day when we bring you the information, sometimes it may be a, something new that we're learning on that day, right? Right. So yes. mess with us, man, because we mess with y'all. Definitely. Yeah. Um... And just to piggyback off my co-host here, Randy, um, go to LUL Magazine 13 on Instagram and um, click the link 
and that is where you'll be able to watch the show and um, DM us our question, DM us the questions that you want us to answer, mm -hmm. and we'll also be um, getting you guys out a uh, call-in number so that you guys be able to call in. So um, be looking out for that as sure. well. For sure. And um, we thank you guys for watching us again today. Yeah. Um, we touched on a few different topics. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess one of the main things is prepare for the new moon. Yes. Um, the new moon, which is today. Um, prepare for that. Like we said, um, look over your life. Look over the past six months or even the past year in, in a whole. And just weed out those things and take action in yes. communicating those changes that you need to make in your life. New beginnings. New Be beginnings. Ready for these new beginnings. We are going into a shift. Yes. Okay, look up yes. December 21st. If yes. you have not, YouTube it. Okay, December yes. 21st is a transition, a split happening. We, I know it's a lot of people that can feel that, right? right. So you're not tripping. You, it's actually something going on. It's that's, actually that's real something heavy, going on. Okay? Right, and then we're all feeling it. So, yeah. um, be easy on yourself as well. Yeah. We all feel in that transition. Because it's not are, that serious. Yes. It's yes. not that Be serious. easy on yourself. Be yeah. easy on yourself. Don't don't hold yourself to too much um, strenuous um, activity and stuff right, like that. Right, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in again. And um, don't forget to join us in our Crown Vic as we go to Pluto. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man, we ride. Because we, we ride. ride. We got to get, get up out of here because y'all crazy. Yeah. But, um, thank you guys for tuning in. And Zodiac Mondays. <laughs>